Okay, welcome back. We're going to talk now about dotted decimal. If you have not already watched the numbering system videos on decimal, binary, and hexadecimal, please go back and watch them first and then return to this video. Now we're going to talk about dotted decimal numbering, the way we talk on the internet. You've all seen numbers like this. You've all seen numbers like that. That is a dotted decimal number. We use it to address things on the internet using TCP IP. That is an IP address, a layer 3 network address. Okay? Don't worry about that right now. We're going to get into that during this course, but understand that this is how we address things on the internet. There are four decimal numbers separated by periods or dots. So it's a dotted decimal system. This is how we address stuff. Okay, each one of these decimal numbers can be anywhere from 0 to 255. That's as big as we can go. Now why is that as big as we can go? That is as big as we can go because each one of these numbers can be represented in binary, which remember is how the computers think, as eight digits. Dot. Dot. And so on. I've got eight digits, eight binary digits, eight binary digits, eight binary digits, eight binary digits. Now, if I have eight binary digits here, eight binary digits here, eight binary digits here, and eight binary digits there, how many binary digits do I have in total? Math. Math 101 again, right? 4 times 8, 32. I have 32 bits total in my addressing scheme for IP, version 4. Again, don't worry so much about that, but we are using 4 bytes or 4 8-bit groups to represent these or we're representing these four 8-bit groups by this dotted decimal system. So, like I said, 0 to 255. 0 is obvious. There's 0. What do you suppose the 255 represents? Give you a minute to think. The 255 represents if all of these bits were turned on. I've got eight ones. Okay, now let's remember our bit positional values. This is 1, this is 2, this is 4, 8, 16, 32, remember we double as we go higher, 64, 128. Okay, so those bit positional values in decimal are that. So this binary number, 1111111 is going to be all of these decimal digits added together, or decimal numbers added together. So I've got 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. Add them all together and I get 255. I'm pretty good, huh? I can add all that up that quickly. You'll understand eventually that 255 is the biggest number you can get. Okay, I'll show you another little trick here though, how you can get that number very quickly. If I go one more digit higher, what is that digit? 256. Okay, I went one number higher to 256. So if I don't go that one number higher, what is all that equal? Well, obviously minus 1, 255. Okay, so all of that below it is 255. Anyway, dotted decimal. This is how we get it. 8 bits per decimal number separated by dots, IP version 4 addressing on the internet, layer 3 network addressings. This is how it works.